Buona tarda a Tom and welcome to a friendly game in the best world. It's the match between Juventus and FC Barcelona. Left you see our captain, the GOAT, Leo Messi. On the right you see their captain, a very good player, Cristiano Ronaldo. And we're in the Allianz Stadium in Turin. You see players walking out of the tunnel. Tense faces. And surprisingly enough, the stadium is full in Corona times. They must not have got the update still. As players are lining up for the hymn. You see in the background, Fino alla fine, which means never give up. Never say die. And live ahead. As we see the players fully focused for their second Champions League game of the group. Barcelona having won 5-1 against Ferenc Varos last week. Juventus beat Dinamo Kiev with two goals of Alvaro Morata. And the ball will start rolling. Juventus kicks off. And I want to go over the Barcelona lineup with you on goal. We got Mark andre Ter Stegen, of course. Right back Sergio Roberto, left back Jordi Alba. And our center back pairing, Gerard Piquet and Samuel Omtiti. In our midfield, we play with a four man midfield with Frankie Busquets, more holding, and Pjanic and Coutinho playing in front of them. And up top, we got Griezmann and Leo Messi, of course. As Juventus is looking for the attack here, Barcelona clearing up, Frankie with the ball. Frankie number 21 opens. What a beautiful pass to Miral and Pjanic, an ex Juventus player, of course, who sends the ball through to Leo Messi. Leo Messi saved by Chesney. Chesney, Griezmann with a goal. Griezmann with a goal. What an early goal for Barcelona. What a great start to this game. And it is the little prince, Antoine Griezmann, who puts Barca ahead. Look at this. Griezmann, very smart positioning. This is intuition. This is something you cannot teach. There he is, Leo Messi, always, always smart when picking his run. Chips it, Chesney saves, great save, I must say. But there's Griezmann, two, Baggett, and Barcelona one, Juventus zero. What a great start for the Blaugrana side. As Juventus trying to attack immediately after. And Barcelona plays it around. It's time for the Juventus lineup. We didn't even get, didn't even have time to go over their lineup. Wait, just as Dybala is being sent through, Bernardeschi, Bernardeschi to Cristiano Ronaldo, and we clear it. Okay, so for Juventus, we got Chesney on goal. They play with a 4-4-2. Uh, Demiral, De Ligt, Bonucci, and Chiellini in the defense line. We got Chiesa, Artur, Betancourt, and Bernardeschi in what looks to be a pretty dynamic midfield. And Ronaldo and Dybala up top, which is Dybala sent, and Dybala just misses. I think the ball, the shot was blocked, and Juventus get a corner. Shot by Bernadeschi. Betancourt with the ball, Betancourt to Cristiano Ronaldo. Was that Ronaldo? With the 1-1. One, one. So that was, that was fast. Looks like, yeah, number 7, Cristiano Ronaldo. Turns up, so now it's, it's a game of the big names. We've got Griezmann, we've got Cristiano Ronaldo. 1-1, one, one, and it's so early in the game. Also for you, for those of you who don't know, the game is being played by De Palma, representing FC Barcelona, and Etorito, representing Juventus. Two very, very strong players in the PES world. And this is time to have fun, to enjoy, but never forget the honor, the colors you're playing for, the club. And the friendly is never friendly, a friendly must be one, and also this one. Frankie with the ball, Frankie sends it out to Busquets, Busquets to Messi, Messi receives, Messi to Pjanic, Pjanic who can shoot, gives it to Griezmann, Griezmann shoots and saved by Szczesny. Goes... Didn't quite go out for a corner, as you went to clear the ball. Juventus seems to have a lot of like tall physical players and a lot of players centrally and causing all sorts of problems and this is the true ball from Dybala to 
I think. Yeah, no. The true ball to Dybala and Dybala with the mask celebration in Corona times. He knows how to protect himself. There he goes. Great finish, right foot. With it supposed to be his weak foot. Assist by Cristiano Ronaldo, just waited. Jordi Alba defends on the outside, which just does not seem the right decision here. But Juventus 2, Barcelona 1. And there goes our good start. Juventus leading 2 1, but given the quality showed by De Palma and FC Barcelona in the early minutes. I have confidence that we can turn this around and make a little remontada. Leo Messi with the ball. Leo Messi dribbles it. Very comfortable. Our captain. Leo Messi, who actually made his debut once, his Gamper debut against Juventus, was a 2-2. And Fabio Capello was so impressed that he wanted to take him to FC Barcelona on loan, on transfer. And Barcelona said, absolutely not. This kid is special. This kid is going to stay. And boy, were they right. Griezmann just couldn't quite get there. And Chesney clears it. Frankie de Jong, Frankie de Jong to Griezmann. As Barcelona looks for the equalizer. We're 30 minutes in the game. Coutinho. Coutinho to Leo Messi and saved by Chesney. Chesney, what a game he's having. Oi, Piquet almost gets there. And as Juventus looking to counter, counter with Dybala. Dybala to Chiesa. Chiesa is a very, very fast player to Ronaldo. Ronaldo to Dybala. And look, look how many players Juventus get in front of the ball. That's just incredible how fast they counter. But Barcelona has a situation under control. Antoine Griezmann controls. Ball just stopped by Mehdi Demiral, the Turkish defender. And as we're approaching the halftime, Barcelona was still looking for an equalizer. Ronaldo, Busquets, Philippe Coutinho. Juventus building slowly, slowly in midfield. Of course, this is a game of a few former players facing each other. Um, Artur. Used to play at Barcelona last season and Pjanic used to play at Juventus last season. Both made a transfer this summer. Pjanic playing with number eight, Arthur playing with number five. And both starting today. And this was what looks like the last play of the first half. Mark Andre just taking kicks it away, and that was it. Juventus 2, Barcelona 1, and 45 minutes to play for. And we kick off for the second half. Barcelona will be looking for the equalizer with Philippe Coutinho having the ball. Can he produce some magic? Started the season really well. Looks like his old confident self. Is there to create, is there to score goals, is there to help the team. Always a positive attitude. Just love a player like Philippe Coutinho. Frankie the ball with the ball. Frankie the young with the ball. Frankie the ball with the young. Oh. We got here. Arthur with the ball. Betancourt. Chiesa. Apart from Ronaldo, the Juventus team looking pretty young. And Kelly Nimbunic, of course. They're there since Juventus were founded, more or less. Coutinho with the ball. Coutinho with a shot opportunity. Gives it to Antoine Griezmann. Antoine Griezmann shoots it there against Chesney. We cannot believe this. Chesney having the game of his life. Hey! That's a corner. What a great goal by Gerard Piquet. What a great goal. What a great... What a great assist by Leo Messi. Great corner. And for those of you who remember, in a tutorial once given by De Palma, he explained how to take the perfect corner. So look that video up and go work on your corner skills in pass because that certainly... Repays the effort. Juventus 2, Barcelona 2, and we're back in the game. As Barcelona looking to build up Coutinho. Coutinho getting involved in the game. Giving the ball to Griezmann. Griezmann, can he turn? Can he turn? Can he turn? No, just defended. And Frankie Leon with great pressing. Great pressing. Frankie Leon 
Curls it on the post. Curls it on the post. There was a 3 2 for FC Barcelona. Great pressing for Frankie de Jong. Great shot. No. No, 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 no. Just as just on the moment you think Barcelona has the 3 2, Juventus hits them on the break. You see Umtiti putting in a tackle, quite misses the ball. And there's Ronaldo for the tap in, as usual. Great assist by Chiesa, who keeps the overview, keeps his calm. Two squared to Ronaldo. Juventus three, Barcelona two. Half hour to play. What a, what a fun and exciting game this is, guys. As if the game tomorrow is going to be as excited, then we're in for a treat. But hopefully, with Barcelona on the other side of the goal sheet, Sergio Berti to Pjanic. Pjanic to Leo Messi, Leo Messi to Coutinho, to Griezmann. This looks promising. Frankie to Griezmann, sends him. Griezmann one on one, Griezmann will he shoot. He doesn't take a shot. To Frankie, Frankie, shoot. No. And the shot just blocked by Mary Demiral to Chiesa. Chiesa with another long ball to Cristiano Ronaldo and Mark andre Ter Stegen with the save. This game is wavy. See, like, okay, Google, what is defense? We don't know because not in this game, at least. Let's see, Mirolem Pjanic with the ball. Mirolem Pjanic to Filip Coutinho. Doesn't get there. Look a bit. Looks a bit tired, Filip Coutinho. It's a 75th minute. Barcelona looking for the equalizer for the 3-3. Juventus, as an Italian team, they're looking to. Cons Consolidate their lead. Frankie, true ball to Griezmann. Griezmann, who has just been absolutely everywhere. Frankie has been magnificent in the midfield. Frankie to Coutinho, to Messi. Gets a shot, but the shot gets blocked. Chance creation is not a problem for Barcelona tonight. Obviously. Barcelona with a lot more chances. Juventus just been clinical. Out there to bet, it's three shots. Three goals for Juventus, more or less. Frankie de Jong, Frankie de Jong, 18 minutes. Full time approaching. Jordi Alba sends Frankie de Jong away. Against Italian powerhouse. Who sends Chiesa away? Dybala sends Chiesa away, and that's with the 4 2. That surely must be over. This is a painful blow for. FC Barcelona, we have been really strong, we've dominated the game, we've created a lot of chances, Griezmann was outstanding, Frankie was outstanding, Messi as always was outstanding, but it looks like it won't be enough. Pjanic to Ansu Fati, who's subbed on, Kim? Can he make a difference? Ansu Fati, what a story. This, this kid is just incredible. Still 17 years old, turns 18 next week, but already the youngest scorer in the Champions League. Youngest scorer with Spain as Griezmann sent through. Griezmann with a chip, Griezmann with a chip, and there again, Chesney. This is, this is a game of two words, Barca and Chesney. And Morata sent away for the 5-2. No. Just taken with the save. Just taken. Tries to look for depth. Tries to look for someone. The ball doesn't arrive. And this surely must be it. Rabio sends Morata again. And Morata squanders the opportunity. PK clears it to Frankie de Jong. And that was it, guys. 4-2. Shameful defeat. But fortunately, this was a friendly. And we hope in the real game this will be better. As you can see here. 4-2, but shots on goal. 5 for Juventus, 9 for FC Barcelona. 50-50 in possession. And as we can see here, then Coutinho sends Messi away. Messi chips, misses. Stopped by Chesney and Griezmann is there with a the rebound. Great intuition. What a great ball by Coutinho. What a great run by Leo Messi who chips it. Chesney was 
absolutely the man of the match today with with i think five or six crucial saves and this is a and this is the one one no this was the shot from paulo dibala what a great tackle by pk and this is the corner which led to the goal this is a well played corner looking for betancourt Bet betancourt finds ronaldo who volleys it in one one after 15 minutes in the 25th minute Cristiano Ronaldo finds Dybala, who just sneaks behind the back of Gerard Piquet and finishes it with a high shot to one. 36 minutes. Griezmann finds Leo Messi. F no, finds Coutinho. Who finds Leo Messi? Curls it into the far corner, but Chesney was there to save it. Leo Messi with a great corner, and there's Gerard Piquet. The third captain equalizes for Barca just after the break. 2-2. But then Juventus exposes Barca's defense. And Chiesa squares it to Cristiano Ronaldo who taps in. There's Chiesa who goes around Sergio Roberto. Squares to Cristiano Ronaldo who has the easiest job in the world to finish that one. 3-2. Barcelona were looking for... The equalizer had some chances, but then finally it was Chiesa who find Dybala to make it 4-2. Now let's go see what the Palma had to say about this game. He fought hard for the win. Unfortunately, it just couldn't be today. I'm proud of him and I think we all should be. Let's see what he has to say. Hi everyone, I just finished to play against Etorito. It was an equal game, but I lost 4-2. For me, it's always a pleasure to play against the best player. I hope that for Barca the result will be different and that they will win. Always for Barca. I couldn't agree more with De Palma. I think he played a great game. The game was very equal and Etorito was just very clinical and that's why he won today. Let's hope that tomorrow in the Allianz Stadium we will finish our chances and that Barca will win and take the three points in the Champions League group. I hope you liked this video. If you did, just leave a like and subscribe to our channel right there. And we see you next time.